Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be diving into hard gel versus soft gel. What are the differences, similarities? Why would we choose to use one over the other? We're going to talk about all of that today. This is a question that I get asked sometimes on my social media because I do use both hard gel and soft gel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm a licensed nail technician. I have been a nail technician for about 10 years now. And I'm also going to be coming out with some courses soon later this year. So if you're interested in learning more about the stuff that we talk about today, application, prep, how to get your nails to last, all of that really good stuff, a lot of stuff that they do not teach you in nail school, make sure to sign up down below at the link because you will get notified when my courses are ready and live. So that's super exciting. I can't wait for that to happen later this year. So let's go ahead and dive in to the hard gel versus the soft gel. So first of all, when talking about hard gel versus soft gel, one of the main differences is how they can be removed. A true traditional hard gel, like this one, this is the Accents Performance Hard Gel. This is the one that I choose to work with. I really like it. It's nice and strong and easy to use. I love the Accents line. So a true traditional hard gel can only be removed by filing it off. Why is that? Because the bonds of the hard gel are very, very close together that acetone cannot actually penetrate into the hard gel to remove it. So it's totally acetone proof. It will literally not do anything if you soak your nails in acetone and you have hard gel. So how would we remove it then? I go in with my e-file, remove the bulk of the nail down, and you can either leave a thin layer on the natural nail just to serve as like a protection as the natural nail grows out, or you can use your regular hand file, something soft, just to smooth out or buff out that thin layer of gel that's left on the nail, and that's how you would remove it. So it's not gonna come off at all with acetone. So then soft gel, how can soft gel be removed? So soft gel, the bonds of the gel are not as tightly interlocked, so acetone can penetrate into soft gel and remove it. So if I was going to remove a soft gel, I would just file down the bulk again, and then I would just do a quick soak just to soak off that last little bit of soft gel that's left on the nail, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and you're good to go. So a lot of people prefer a soft gel just for the fact that it can be soaked off in acetone. I don't find the hard gel removal that difficult, especially if you have an e-file and you can remove the bulk, it's gonna go a lot faster and then you just very gently remove that last little bit. So let's talk really quick about the packaging. Traditionally, hard gel is gonna come in a pot like this, and you would apply it using a gel brush. So you would scoop out what, however much you want and then apply it using the gel brush, and it would just be in the pot. I've never actually seen a hard gel come in a bottle form. I don't wanna say it never comes in a bottle, but from what I've seen, it has always come in a pot. As far as soft gel goes, I have seen it in both a pot and a bottle. Typically, the like builder in a bottles, which are soft gel, come in a bottle, obviously. That's why it has the name Builder in a Bottle. But I have also seen soft gels come in pots. We have this one right here. This is from Leaf Gel, and this comes in a pot. I also know that Accents has a soak off gel line called Options, which also comes in a pot. So you kind of have some different options there with soft gels, depending on the way that you like to work. I know a lot of people like to use them out of the bottle because it's super easy. You already have your brush right here, ready to go and apply. So what are some characteristics of the hard gel and why would we use hard gel over a soft gel for a particular client? So a hard gel is gonna be stronger. It's gonna be more closely like acrylic. I kind of call it like the, the cousin of acrylic. It's just a different type of a product, but you can achieve a lot of the same results of acrylic that you can with a hard gel. They're very similar in what you can do with them. So because the hard gel is stronger, you can sculpt out long extensions with it. You can sculpt out, you know, different shapes, coffin shape, long stiletto shapes. You can have these long extensions and it's gonna work absolutely beautiful for that. So you can sculpt it out, you can file it into shape, 
and then it's going to hold that shape. It's super strong and sturdy, so if you are using your hands a lot or the client is using their hands a lot, that shape that the nails were sculpted in is not going to smooth out, it's not gonna soften, it's going to maintain like those sharp edges, crisp corners, all that stuff. It's very strong and durable. You can also use it for a natural nail overlay as well. And again, because we mentioned earlier how those bonds are so tightly woven together, that if you use a hard gel top coat, you will have zero staining. It does not stain at all. I can have a hairstylist client wear white nails and they're gonna come back white because there's just nothing that can penetrate or stain a hard gel. So what are some of the, I guess, cons to a hard gel is because it is so strong, if you apply it too thin, it can actually crack because it's just not flexible enough to be applied that thin. It has to have a little bit of thickness to it so that it has that strength. So now let's talk about kind of the characteristics of a soft gel. So again, the soft gel can be soaked off in acetone, although I don't recommend doing that every single time. So the only time that I would soak off the soft gel is if my client wanted their nails completely removed, they were done having their nails done, That this was the last appointment and that was it. Then I would take the soft gel off. So even though it can be removed with acetone, I always just do a regular kind of fill with the soft gel, just as I would with a hard gel. I don't remove it every single time because that can be hard on the natural nails to constantly be removing and reapplying a product every single appointment. So the soft gel is gonna be more flexible, so it's gonna be better for a client who just wants short nails, natural nails, overlays. Um, I would not use a soft gel to sculpt out a very long extension because it will not hold. It's just too flexible for that. It can like bend and break basically. This is gonna be better for short nails, maybe to medium length nails, um, natural nails, overlays, that kind of stuff. Now you can build out a short extension with a soft gel. I have done that with Luminary multiple times, but again, it's just usually a short extension. I will not build out a long extension with soft gel. It just is not gonna hold. So because it's a more flexible product, it can actually work better for clients who have more soft and flexible nails. It can actually kind of hold on to their nails a little bit better because it's going to flex with their natural nail instead of against it, basically. So if we have a super flexible natural nail and we put hard gel on top that doesn't move at all, you're gonna have this nail underneath that's trying to flex and that hard gel is not gonna move and then you can end up with lifting because you just have this natural nail underneath that's just too flexible for the stiff hard gel. So soft gel might be better in that case. And because it is more flexible, it can usually be applied a little bit thinner than a hard gel. So what about the durability and wear time between the two? In my experience, you can get a good three to four weeks with proper application and proper at-home care with both either the hard gel or the soft gel. So one is really not better for you than the other. It's all about the natural nail type of the client or yourself and the desired outcome. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys up close a little bit more in depth of the gels here just so you guys can get an idea and I can actually show you. This is the hard gel from Accents. There's many many different brands of hard gel so use what you like. I'm just showing you the Accents one for an example and so again this is their hard gel and I actually found that I did have a really old pot. Excuse the nastiness of it. It's been in a drawer for a really long time. So this is actually their soak off line. So this is their options line. So this is hard gel, this is soak off gel. So this is the clear, this is the one I use all the time in videos. So you can see that it's a little bit runnier there. You can see it moving. And this is the Trinity Shade SW1. So these are two gels are the exact same hard gels. One is just clear and one is colored. And the reason this one has a blue tint to it, because gel can sometimes turn a little bit yellow after it cures. So this bluish purpley tint kind of counteracts any sort of yellowing that you could have with the gel. And so it's going to be perfectly crystal clear. And then to show you some different viscosities, this one is from the same brand. This one is called Balance. 
And as you can see, I have dipped my brush in there and the gel has not moved. This one is going to be great for sculpting out like long extensions and this one is going to be more runny, great for more overlays, quick fills, things like that. And again, this one comes in multiple shades as well. This is the cool pink but it's the exact same type of gel. And then we have our soft gels here. Typically they come in bottles like this. The leaf gel here is a Japanese gel and they come in pots. So this is a Korean brand called Aizemi and that's actually what I have on my nails right now. Um, they're about two weeks grown out and look how shiny still are and i've got no lifting just a natural nail overlay with this brand um, another popular one that i also use is luminary this is typically kind of what they would come in and they can come in clear and a range of different colors so i'm going to show you guys one thing really quick to kind of really show you guys the difference between the two so here we just have a little paper form and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take some hard gel and i'm going to paint a little bit on the form here in like a nice little square and then I'm going to take a soft gel and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. All right, so we have our hard gel over here and our soft gel right here. And so what we're going to do is cure it. Now your cure times are going to be based on the brand that you're using. So every brand is going to be different. You need to make sure and read the manufacturer instructions so you know exactly the cure time for your product. So we have our little squares cured here and I actually added a third one in the middle this one is the hard gel but it's the thicker hard gel for sculpting like long extensions because i'm just curious how it differs from the trinity gel so this is the trinity gel over here so when i pick it up and i kind of pinch it like this this hard gel actually is pretty flexible it does take a little bit like i do have to give it a good push in order to fold it like this now if i fold it all the way doing pretty good so there so it cracked like that right in half so that's a hard gel and again this is hard gel but this is the thicker viscosity one that one cracked out immediately when i tried to fold it so the trinity hard gel is actually going to be a little bit more flexible than the balance which is made for long extensions so those are your hard gels. Now this is the soft gel in the bottle and this barely takes any pressure at all to bend it. I can twist it, I can bend it back this way, I can fold it in half, I can fold it in half back this way, I can fold it in half again and it still hasn't cracked. So this is gonna be really, really flexible and work better with someone who has flexible nails. So I hope that gives you a little bit better idea, a little more up close look and like testing out your gels. This is a great way to test out your gels so you know exactly what you're working with. So what would we use hard gel for? Long nails, long extensions, somebody who needs more strength. And what would we use the soft gel for? Short to medium length nails, overlays, flexible nails. So I hope that helped you guys kind of understand the differences and why you would use one versus the other. Also, if you're trying out a product on a client and it's just not going well, don't be afraid to, you know, switch it up. So just see, maybe they need a stronger gel because they're really, really hard on their hands, or maybe they have really flexible nails and they need something softer. So don't be afraid to kind of switch if you feel like what you are currently using is just not working for them. And that's another reason why I carry two different products because not everyone's nails are the same and there I don't believe there's one product that will fit every single person. They're both very different and I like having options to use for different clients. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have any other questions, don't be afraid to leave them down in the comments. I always do my best to answer the comments and make sure to sign up at that link below in the description box to be notified of future courses. You can also follow me on social media at Nails by Katie Dutra and I post lots of tips and tricks to help you guys out and tutorials. So I hope to see you guys there and I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.